Cameron, it was quite a weekend for the Whitworth women's soccer team. Just a, a hard-fought battle against league-leading Pacific Lutheran. Came up one goal short. He kept battling back against the Lutes. And then really turned it on nicely against a very good Puget Sound team and came away with an impressive 2 to nothing victory. Uh, take us back through the weekend. And as a coach, what you take out of the weekend and, and what you hope we can build on. Yeah. Yeah, first thing is just consistency with attitude. I've said it a lot. I keep saying it. We got to have this primarily uh, how we act on the field, how we work together, team chemistry, um, ability to make decisions, all those kinds of things are going to be primary for us. So, really proud for how we did that. The first half against POU was difficult uh, to build out of our half, but we kept trying. We had some bright moments. We needed more bright moments in that first half. Uh, so, it shows when we didn't create as many shots, especially after the first 15 minutes of the game. Uh, to be down 0-1, frustrating, is one throw-in moment, PLU played really well, they created a mistake, we made it's a tracking, uh, two tracking errors really for them to go up uh, 0-1, so that was a, a challenge uh, in the first 15 minutes, we addressed that really well. Second half, we come out, we actually outshoot them, um, so happy with how we responded there. It's an interesting feeling from that game, because there's a lot to be proud of, and a little bit to be frustrated by in terms of yeah, controlling what we can do well. So mentality was still really good. We made some mistakes and yeah, when you play against the, the top teams, it's always going to happen in soccer. Um, against UPS, really limited those mistakes, focused in on defending really well. Uh, UPS was very limited in the good shots that they had and uh, I think I said it before, the weekend. It's pretty much going to come down to who takes the good chances that are created because there probably won't be a lot of them over the weekend. And uh, we did. We converted two really, really nice goals. Uh, it's kind of fun, I think, um, to see where we can keep heading. I, I like, for me personally, I'm frustrated when we don't win uh, because I know what I want for Whitworth Athletics, what I want for these players and our team, uh, what they're earning. Um, so it's frustrating when we don't get every result, you know, we want that. Uh, but it's kind of cool to see it's two freshmen who score on Sunday. And so there's, you know, when we talk about the best is yet to come and we keep building optimistically on what we're doing, that's a pretty cool representation of that uh, with Cam and, and Emma scoring. That was my next question for you is how fun is that for you to see two first-year players get their first goal, the excitement, the energy, uh, how how does the team respond to that? Just just talk about what that experience is like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually brings to mind, I'm a sentimental person. Uh, I don't usually cry when there's sadness, but pride. Uh, so just happy for them. Uh, so exciting to get on the score sheet as a freshman. Uh, and yeah, it's exciting for the whole group. We have an impressive yeah, family feel. I've talked about it before. So the way that we celebrate one another's successes and uh, in that way is really cool. Uh, and then, yeah, those are two bright players, that's for sure. Uh, Cam, it takes time to settle in freshman year. Uh, Cam has been playing really, really well lately. She deserves uh, something like that to represent her performances. Uh, and Emma's been bright, you know, she's gotten a lot of opportunity minutes this year. Uh, she's been bright from the jump. Probably could have a couple more goals, but uh, like I said, it takes time to settle in. So, uh, all of, we have six freshmen, all of them, I'm like, massively proud of and satisfied with how they're they're playing uh, it's a really cool thing for our team this week you uh, go on the road a uh, match at Whitman on Wednesday that um, has implications for hmm. conference standings and then uh, a uh, match at Pacific um, on the weekend which is always a difficult place to play uh, what do we expect from these two opponents? Yeah, very much first things first kind of week, you know. Uh, we look at Wednesday uh, uh, and have everything to be excited for. Eastern, Washington rivalry. Uh, I think they said, if I remember exactly right, four points ahead of us. So uh, the opportunity to, to draw back, back closer on the league table. And uh, so everything to be motivated for for a game like that and uh, where it's a long week for both of us, Whitman, and ourselves. Uh, we get to find out who's going to be ready for that challenge of every minute for 90 minutes. And so mentality will be first again, attitude will be first, 
Uh, they're an athletic and strong team. They haven't given up a lot of goals this year. Um, they're winning narrow margin games. So it will be a fun battle probably right down to the finish. Um, and we get to play on their new facility, so that'll be, that'll be fun. I think for both of us, it will probably play uh, well for us to be able to play more soccer uh, possession-oriented, that kind of thing, I mean. Uh, so that will be really enjoyable. Uh, and then, yeah, we head to Pacific. I think the one thing we enjoy, we have in our back pocket, if you will, is we get to travel on Saturday instead of Friday, and so we get a little bit more rest in between games. And, um, yeah, very much first things first. We've got to take care of Wednesday. But when it comes to Pacific, yeah, we'll try and bring the best version of ourselves, uh, hopefully on the back of a couple uh, big wins and feeling confident.